Howdy gents. Today we will be looking at the pride of the pre-war French tank corps, the Char B1 this. The Char B1 is an excellent tank for its tier and I'm shocked that I have not seen more of them lumbering across the battlefields of war thunder spreading freedom and liberty wherever they dare go. In history the Char B1 was viewed as the best tank in the world when it first entered service in 1935, outmatching and outgunning almost every other armored vehicle on the planet. When war came in 1939 the Char B1 was more than capable of handling any panzers that dared face it, and was only held back by mechanical failures, supply problems, and a complete lack of understanding as to how to use them from French high command which caused many of these great machines to be abandoned out of necessity when France fell. However that was not the end of the Char B1, and many saw service in the German army in a variety of roles after they were captured and a few were even captured right back when the Allies began the liberation of Europe and continued to be used right up until the end of the war. The Char B1 was designed as a breakthrough tank, a role it very much lives up to in game, with sturdy armor, and for its time particularly heavy armament. A hull mounted 75mm ABS SA-35 howitzer and a turret straight off the SA-40 medium tank, mounting a 47mm SA anti-armor gun. Add on a machine gun for anti-infantry duty and you have one sound manifestation of the will of the French people. All of this means that the Char B1 is very capable of driving straight through almost any tank that it will face at its BR and leave them as smoldering reminders for those who dare oppose the revolution. Some of you may think that a hull cannon that for all intents and purposes is practically fixed in place would be more of a hindrance than a help. But the Char B1 makes it work with surprising grace, as it can turn very quickly, and even neutral steer, which allows it to accurately slip shots into places that would make even the most experienced Parisian ladies blush. To get the most out of what you are packing I recommend rebinding the controls for the 75mm to something that you never use anyway, like the middle mouse button. This will give you the ability to fire the howitzer independently from your other weapons and surprise those who cannot comprehend that you have more than one gun. I should point out that you are not invulnerable in the Char B1, no matter how some games will make you feel. Your four crew members are very tightly squeezed into the crew compartment in several tank destroyers that you will face regularly like the Soviet Zis-30 and the German Marder series are capable of smashing straight through your front plate. Avoid them if possible, or eliminate them, as soon as you get the chance. Another thing which you should seek to avoid is getting outflanked and immobilized. This will reduce you to another overused reference to a certain extremely expensive fortification, which is a humiliation that one should never experience or ever dare forget. As such you should dump your crew points into field repair to speed up the process of getting your tracks to work again. Because by god every time an artillery shell lands even near you, it seems like they just fall off. While we are talking about crew skills some other things to focus would be tank driving to make your hull traverse even better, vitality to make it so Piran's jock won't keel over at the first opportunity and finally leadership for overall goodening. By the way all of this also goes for the Char B1 tear, which is basically a premium copy of the B1 bis, which has gotten fat onto much good Parisian food. You get better side armor, 10mm thicker front glasses armor, and a fifth crew member chilling in the engine compartment, making it overall slightly more rugged than its tech tree counterpart. If you have the opportunity, you should get your hands on this tank, and enjoy it as one would a fine glass of Bordeaux. In both versions, take a full load of armor piercing ammo for the 47mm and 25 rounds of APHE for the howitzer while leaving the HE at home for both weapons. This will reduce the chances of reenacting trench mines from the Great War, which fun fact you can still see the results of to this day. As you can see the Char B1 bis is an excellent choice for any tank players, and I have certainly enjoyed my time in it, and I guarantee you will as well. And that is the Char B1 bus in 2021. Vive la République, vive la France.